What's going on everybody, this is Kart and I'm back with a new video. Today I'm excited to show you how to recreate draw dropping pixel art images. With the power of Maya and the versatility of the Arnold King shader, I will guide you through the full creation process that will transport you back to the days of classic 8-bit gaming. Discover how to render intricate pixel art with ease and help you master this unique style. Whether you are a beginner or a pro, get ready to bring back your nostalgia. So get relaxed, grab a coffee or a cup of tea and let's roll the intro! So guys, the first thing we need to make this 8-bit pixel art is an interesting model. So I will recycle this awesome model that I've already used in the glass shader video tutorial. If you haven't seen it yet, check out the card in the upper right corner. Ok then I've set up a basic loop dev scene with this badass model. If we look a moment to the setup of the scene, it's pretty basic. We've got an HDRI, a backdrop and a rim light. If I open the outliner, you can see that everything is clean and tidy. It's important to have everything well organized if you work in production with a team. So it's good to get into this habit early on. First off, let's create our main light. It must be a directional light or a spotlight as it works better with the tune shader. Now that is done, let's begin by creating an eye tune shader. Let's rename it properly and also don't forget the shader engine too. Now we can assign it onto the model. Let's launch the IPR to see what we've got. Let's set up our shader. For the base color, let's input a bright green value. The specular roughness, we will deal with it in a second time. Next up, let's create an IE ramp RGB and plug it to the tone map of the base like this. Then on the properties of the IE ramp RGB, switch interpolation to none. Let's adjust the bright value of the ramp like this. Then, for the dark value, let's input a dark green value and add an other pin in the ramp in the middle. Let's input this time a green value. Let's adjust a bit the middle value range. Pretty nice. Hey you, I know you are watching my video and I know you are not subscribed yet. It's literally so easy, just go down there and boom, press subscribe. So like this video, comment and hit the subscribe button. Now back to the sweet shader. Let's rename the node to color. Then make a duplicate of the node, rename it to specular, and plug it to the tone map of the specular like this. Now change the specular weight to 1. Then on the properties of the speculars, IE ramp RGB, cancel this middle point, and adjust the bright value to the middle position. Now let's lower the specular value to something like 0.2. Pretty nice. Almost there, but we are missing the last important thing to sell this effect. Open the render settings. On the camera AA, we need to input a negative value. Did you know that was possible? Let's do a minus 1. Boom, that's an awesome trick. Minus 3 to go really 8-bit style. Or minus 2 to do an in-between style. Notice that it also depends on your final image resolution. As I'm in 2K, let's go for minus 1 for camera AA sample. Now let's switch just quickly in After Effects. I will show you how to remap quickly your colors in post. Search in the Effects, Triton Effect. Add it to an adjustment layer. Now you have the possibility to remap the highlights, midtones and shadows. Click on midtones and change the color to a powerful red. Then do the same thing for the highlights with a pale red. A cool and easy trick. And boom, the final result. Really, really nice. What do you think, guys? This is a really cool way of doing some 8-bit retro pixel art. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the content, you know what to do. Subscribe to my channel for more awesomeness. And I see you guys in the next video.